Hello everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today I would like to share my experience with one of the special products that I recently encountered, which is SMS Audio D300 Digital to Analog Converter. The reason it, it has a very good price and performance and of course sound quality ratio. You know, you will have very hard time if you try to find bad sounding digital analog converters in modern day technology and manufacturing capabilities. So this SMS D300 utilizes the top of the line digital to analog converter chip from Rome, from Japan, which is a Rome uh, Muse IC. So basically Rome Music BD34301 EKV, that's a digital to analog converter chip that resides in this SMS D300 deck. That chip is very same digital to analog converter chip as Luxman uses in their top of the line SACD player, which is Luxman D10X, which utilizes the yeah, balanced uh, dual mono design in the top of the line you know, SACD player and digital to analog converter. So that Luxman SACD player sells for $16,500. So, okay, this one is just a portion of it, this uh, SMS Audio D300 deck. And then another thing is if you want to buy, if you want to build your own deck with this chip, that chip alone will set you around like $100. So that chip is pretty expensive. So this D300 deck come with that ROM Muse IC uh, BD34301 EKV chip. So that chip is very new and then that is the top of the line offering from them. And this SMS audio incorporated in the socket boat design with very simple layout very minimalistic approach, which also tells me capability of this Muse IC DAC chip. Let's start with the build quality of D300, which has changed from uh, other SMS decks or products that are available previously. You know, this deck is probably new direction that they may be going. Also, the digital to analog converter that they incorporated in this deck is new eye-opening experience as well as great musical experience. The enclosure is not as good as the uh, you know, SMS DO200 or other SMS that I had experienced because enclosure is now a thinner metal casing than the other SMS you know, enclosure. But this front panel is pretty solid and menu system is the same although the display design has changed. This D300 uses the 32-bit uh, XMOS 208 USB chip as well as Qualcomm uh, Bluetooth chip etc. It can do you know DSD, PCM, high res and everything but it does not offer MQA. DSD up to 512 PCM up to 768 kilohertz of which this one is fully capable of offering high res and DSD formats but no MQA thank God and also what I like about this deck is simplicity and very simple feature set okay all you have is USB optical coaxial and Bluetooth input a little downside is you are not going to be able to disable the Bluetooth function which I like and which I love to have like they have in custard uh, decks. So this one doesn't have that feature. Menu system is very simple. If you hit this power button, this one is also works as the input selector. So Bluetooth, USB and optical and coaxial. So you have four inputs. Just hit this menu button and this dial will take you all the setting that you can do. So once you get in the menu, just hit this menu button again, it will take you to what input you want to change. That's the another input setting. Next thing is output. You can change output to all or XLR or RCA only. Then now you can do face mode to use with your balance connection which is if you have an inverted connection like 
Japanese domestic market uh, product, you can use inverted position. Next one is PCM filter. I use sharp roll off. And next one is DSD filter. So this one is 26K. And the next one is HPC mode. This one is enable. So HPC mode is good to enable for better sounding. And then uh, you can have a pre mode or volume fix. So which is I use at the fix. Then you can also use this one as the pre amplifier if you like. FN key. FN key is for Bluetooth or output. So which I will use as the output. There you go. That is a FN key. So outputs, I don't use Bluetooth. And then uh, the dimmer, I turned it off. Display will be always on. The brightness, you can adjust it here. If you want to get out of menu, just hit this power button. So overall build quality is acceptable. Good quality build, but not the best build quality, especially the enclosure. But you know, I can understand that the one they want to break into the market at the reasonable price and good quality sound. Probably they will have, you know, dual chip design, balanced design and everything. They will come out later in the future. So sound quality wise, this D300 I pair with my Sony HABZ1 ES as, as the music server using my Dano BMA SX11 with my KEF R11 speakers. So I try to listen many different genre of music, you know, smooth jazz to full symphony and everything in between. What I like about this DAC is it can incorporate neutral and accurate sound, yet it has a nice warmish upper mid-range to mid-range area that totally brings you into enjoying your music which something similar to R2, our decks are offering and listening to really high quality analog rig like sound signature with great control and accurate sound quality. Best of all, it has a great depth and stereo image. That is unheard of and probably most impressive thing out of this D300 deck because it has a nice and uh, three-dimensional stereo image but the depth behind is incredibly deep for this price point so this d300 is very impressive sounding deck that they made because other product in same price range doesn't have that kind of depth musically enjoyable stereo image and soundscape plus that very good depth behind that uh, you can truly appreciate the way that your sound system transformed compared to other similarly priced offering. So price to performance, I think this is the uh, better buy than the uh, many others in similar price point for musicality, sound accuracy, and most importantly, your enjoyment, as well as, you know, nice high frequency extension and good amount of airiness and smoothness come together in that combination. So this one is one of my favorite deck right now. I like this D300 more than DO200. So that is my personal preference and personal taste. So your taste may be different because DO200 will be more transparent in sound, maybe a slightly better attack. This D300 is nicer and deeper sound stage with incredibly musical sound. So which is, you know, your, your choice because which one you want to go? You want more transparent sound or you want engagement and musicality with you are listening to like true high-end analog rig like sound quality, this D300 can deliver that. So that is my experience. Truly musical sound, that is a simple what. Doesn't matter what music you listen to. You know, overall that warmish sound signature is more noticeable. For example, if you listen to our original version of uh, Flew Mac Rumors, which is the uh, slight warmish on that, uh, overall sound quality on that track. If you use this D300, that is more apparent and more noticeable. Even like uh, I listened to uh, uh, Evermore or Taylor Swift album, 
oh my God, that champagne problem and all that music that she, she was singing, her close mic performance are incredibly accurate, real life-like uh, performance. Like if you ever gone to her concert in, you know, front seat, because that kind of uh, realistic vocal performance that I can feel it and I can hear it. So this SMS D300 deck is for you if you want that kind of music enjoyment. You just want to enjoy your music, forget about everything else. You don't want to know, you know, jitter or noise performance or, you know, many, th many people are crazy. But although this one has a very good performance as well, if you care about those measurements, if you have a really neutral sounding set, this D300 can even more enhance your experience. If you have a very warm sounding setup, it may not suit well. So that's, I would like to remind you because overall that uh, warmish sound signature in overall frequency range, which I think is as, as it should be because overall music is, I mean like most of the people are engaged to the warmish sound signature. So my advice is if you're gonna buy Delta Sigma deck or even good R2R deck for your music enjoyment, I would like to suggest you to try this SMS D300 deck, which may totally change your experience and your expectation if you love music and if you love true to source analog like sound quality out of this kind of digital components. So that is my advice. This D300 is staying in my system because I love the sound. I love overall musical soundscape and depth and stereo image that it can provide. And overall lifelike presentation from voices and vocals that I can hear. So which I truly appreciate and I totally like this one, which, why, which is why I can easily recommend it to you to try it out and price to performance and sound quality that you are getting is very good. That's it, my friend. That is my experience with this D300 deck. Thank you for watching and happy listening. Into my solitude. Though I weary be, come into my tenderness, dream along with me. Listen to the whisper sing, listen to the singer shout, come into my solitude, be my big Thoughts unspoken, thoughts unseen. Lies apart and home, children broken on the bed and left to lie alone. Things you talk around, scum you took on down. Come into my solitude, step on sacred ground. We were speaking of values and
walls that do not speak, steps that do not sound, come into my solitude.